war is over. Jesus is your healer, your financier, and your righteousness that's believe you receive it, and God will make it good in your life. Hi, I'm James, and today we're going to talk about the ABCs of faith. And put simply, they are ABC, always believe Christ. That's it. The ABCs of faith, always believe Christ. Always. Start with the word always. That means under every single condition, non-stop, no matter what happens, always. Always. All the way to the off. No, always. Non-stop. No matter what happens, always. Always, 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 always. Non-stop. Completely. All the time. Consistently. Patiently, which means being consistent. Always. Always, always. Always believe Christ. Always. All the time. Believe. Always believe Christ. Believe. Not doubt. Believe. You know, if you read something that, you know, but believe means, well, I'll stick with the word believe. That means don't doubt. That means accept as truth. That means you can, that means you act on it. If your dad says he's going to buy you a uh, brand new system that plays video games, you know, at 2 million P, <laughs> it's, you know, it's a high definition, 2 million P, and your dad says he's going to buy it, well, you're going to tell your friends, hey, my dad's going to buy me this for, you know, uh, not Christmas, but, you know, he buys me a present every month, and this month he's going to get me this, uh, HD system, or I guess you couldn't even call it high definition. You'd probably have to call it God definition if it's 2 million P. But believe. Believe, which means don't doubt. Don't walk in fear. Believe, you know. Rest. Be at assurance. But it's simply believe, as in believe it. That's a, that's a simple decision. Believe. To not doubt. To take as truth. To walk as though it's correct. You know, as in that's what you believe. And you live your life according to this. So always believe. So believe. It's very, very important. Don't doubt. Don't fear. Um, don't have unbelief. Don't be afraid. Believe. So uh, always believe in Christ. Jesus, the living Lord King Jesus the Christ. Him, the Messiah, the one that the Bible talks about, the Christian Bible, 66 books, um, uh, this Jesus, I'm going to say, you can actually include the Catholic Bible. <laughs> I'm going to put the Catholic, because the 66 books of the Christian Bible are in the Catholic Bible. But Christ, Jesus Christ, it is a fundamental doctrine of the Lord King Jesus the Christ, the church of the Lord King Jesus the Christ, that uh, Jesus is the creator and he is the actual answer for everything. He's the creator, he is the word of God made flesh, you have to believe him. You can't believe something outside source. If always believe him, not somebody else, not um, uh, a preacher that disagrees with Jesus. If anything goes contrary to the word of God, to Jesus, you have to believe Jesus. So you have to believe what he says. If you have a red letter Bible, those are cool. You know, some some Bible apps have uh, red letters, but yeah, there's not even an app. <laughs> but it, but you, you, whatever's in red, but you know, actually, the whole word... Jesus is the entire word of God. He's the word made flesh. But you have to believe Jesus. Do not believe the devil. Do not believe parents, siblings, relatives, cousins, grandparents, friends, preachers, politicians, TV stars, music, music personalities, anybody but Christ. You have to believe Christ. Whatever he says goes. If he says do something, you have to do it. But I'm focusing, well, whatever he says goes. If he says do it, you have to do it. If he says believe this way, then do it. If he says believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you'll be saved in your household, then you have to do that. That's what the word says. So you have to believe Christ. So make sure you believe Christ is the one you're believing. Not a tradition that someone says that goes contrary to what he said. So you might want to go read what he says. But the simple ABCs of faith... Christ is very, very important. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. He's the first, the last, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. So that is the crux of faith, Christ. He's the author and finisher of our faith, so believe Christ. So always believe Christ.
That's it. That's the ABCs of Fave, and that will get you through every single time. Thanks for joining me. I was thinking. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. I love you, and be blessed in the name of living Lord King Jesus. The Christ!